Welcome to Keyboard Render Kit. I built this kit to help both professionals and new users. In short, I'm building the keyboard kit that I would like to use. Let's start with an overview of what it is and what it can do. The KRK layout is very much like the standard shading layout, except that I've added a fast preview panel and instructions to help you get started. Part of this top panel may be obscured, so you'll need to drag it over with your middle mouse button in order to get to the how-to section. A lot of what's said in here is going to be what I say in this video. The 3D viewport is where you'll be doing your 3D editing and selections. This is also where you can find the profile switcher. Use the grab handles to move it around or to change the profile. Only do one profile at a time, as this is an additive effect. In the top right, you'll find the outliner. This is where all the collections and various scene elements live. You can use it to turn on and off kits and boards and various other things. Use the small arrow to dig down into those collections for more collections and more collections controlling various options on the boards. Here's an example if you want to switch from ANSI to ISO or change the bottom row from ANSI to Sangan or perhaps add a step caps lock. Those options are all there. There are extra layouts available in the Layouts collection. If you decide to do a full or a, another T TKL or 65 or something. In the accessories, you'll find a desk mat and a USB-C cable. In the Scene collection, you'll find all of the cameras, as well as, as, well as various lighting setups. At the, the default is the kit lighting. I like board lighting too. Beneath that we'll find a material editor tab, but it's best to do that stuff in the shader editor. Let's go back over to object. This little number here signifies how many objects that this is applied to. If you click on it, it will create a new material. So let's do that. Let's change our alphas. Select one of them and click the number. I created a new material. Let's start changing some colors. Now to apply it to more keys, we just select more of them. And the one with the new material last. And we link material, control L, and then M for materials. We also have sub-legend support. That's what this gray node is. It's disabled or muted. Press M to unmute. Now we have sub-legends. Let's go ahead and fill out the rest of our alphas. There we go. Let's move on over here to our image editor. This is a good place to preview what the images look like as well as 
to see where in UV space a key cap might be. Or if you choose to move it around. It's currently an L. But you can make it a K. And finally, you have the preview window. If you press Z and swipe up, you get a rendered view. This is what our active camera will see, and this is basically what our final render will look like. You can also do that with the main window by hitting tilde and choosing the bottom left, or just swipe. All right, I think that is it for our overview. I'll be back with more in-depth videos.